Hey everybody, it is Matt here from OK Aussie. Welcome back to the channel. Look, bit of sad news. Woke up this morning early and found, unfortunately, one of Diane's budgery guards had passed away overnight at the bottom of the cage. Christoph, a male bird. Um, I would actually put it down to, unfortunately, the distress from our lovely tenants who have been causing a bit of a ruckus over the last week or more particularly. And I think the sudden bangs, that slamming of the door will be perhaps the key contributor because it has been unsettling all our animals and even ourselves in our house. So look, it's a difficult thing. Um, and for Diane, oh, not something I wanted to have to tell her this morning. When she woke up, I let her sleep in. Last night she had a very significant tonic-clonic seizure sets, status epileptus, as she's been in pain. She slept very long and very hard. And I just, just didn't want to tell the news, you know? With everything else that she has to deal with. And there is no easy way. And with autism particularly, it's actually a very difficult thing. The transitions of change, loss and grief, dealing with emotions particularly, it ain't easy. It, it really isn't. And look, over the years that I've known Diane for more than 30, 30, 34 years now, I guess it was the approach of having to take the band-aid off very quickly because there's no sugar coating, very direct, communication, empathetic, allowing for the emotions and the grief to wash through, to be able to sit in that space, hold those memories, but then to also work on the recovery approach and the face. She's been very, very worried then because of the other budgery guard. Jasmine, her favourite, Jazzy, the girl, and has been obviously clucking like a mother hen around her to make sure that she's okay. And of course her first thought is concern of Jasmine, the butcher guard's own grief and loneliness, being isolated without her friend, stressing out the behaviours, the animal behaviours as we're noticing, the excessive preening, stress, and we don't obviously want more catastrophes don't have space for that. So I've spent a bit of time with Jazzy myself. I've cleaned out her cage this morning. Um, Diane's been sitting, talking, interacting, playing gentle music, just playing games with her to keep her distracted. Now I've gone on a mission to one of our favorite places, the Happy Pet Place. And the goal was to find a companion because seeing the immediate stress in Jazzy, our budget regard, at her loss, understandable. They're a flock, they, they need to be around others. They need that companionship. We don't want a distressed bird or an animal to be unhappy. So um, I've gone off this morning and I'm coming. Oh, hello, H hello, hello. Are you, are you in there? There's something in there. We've got a friend for Jazzy. We have a hopefully female budget regard friend. And that's very hard. The one that we have chosen, now Diane's too unwell to travel, particularly because of the seizures last night and being in pain. Um, so I was using WhatsApp to send pictures and little video snippets so that she could see, be part of the process. This is the thing of disability. How to involve and engage and interact with your person so that they can be feeling part of the process, be part of the choice, have the control of decision processes, but without the strain on them physically um, in, in having to travel, but also be able to be at home to provide that comfort and nurture and that support that they want to be able to provide with the grieving Jazzy, the butcher girl at home. So I've sent photos, she's had a choice, and we've chosen a five or six week year old little budgery guard. Now, budgery guards are Australian parrots. Uh, I wanted the same type and hopefully the same gender so that there's no territorialness, that they're going to be 
quite comfortable and companions together. Um, and in this box, we have almost like owl mail, you know, think of it as Harry Potter. I'm going to bring the owl mail to Diane so that she can meet in person her choice and you can find out what she chose. Okay, we're inside. Come with me as we, it's almost like Sheen. Diane's used to having parcels in the mail. Well, this is going to be a bit of a different sort of parcel for her. <gasps> What's going on in here? Hey, Jess. Hey, Mum. Let me turn some light on so people can see you. Yeah, like, um, we've just been chit chatting. Oopsie daisy. Okay, I am. Sorry. Bit of an obstacle course in this house at times, so, yeah, isn't it? We've just been chatting. She's playing with her coffee cup. Well, so I'm very happy about that. Guess what's in the box? Oh, it's our new baby. It's our new to baby keep to keep her company. She's very, guys, she's self picking, so she's anxious, distressed, lonely. I was just sad. explaining that oh, actually. She is sad, getting yeah. depressed. So. We have to do this immediately, and I've we told do. her I know it's not the same. Now, let's say good day to Chaz. Hey, darling. Hey, darling. Come here. You heard Daddy come home, didn't you? What's been going on? You chitter chatted. I've just me. been to the Happy Pet Place, and I've got you, you a, a new friend. Okay? So I'm going to bring you a friend in and introduce you together. Okay, we're going to introduce. Oh, it's exciting. Now, we'll come down to right, oh, she's very up. intrigued, guys. What's in the box, darling? She's very intrigued at this box. I wonder what's in here. Might be something that you like. That might be something. That's a family friend. Might be something that you're used to. Ooh. I wonder if you're going to recognise what's in the box. Oh, are you looking? You want to come out? She's looking. Oh, I know, you're in backwards, aren't you? Oh, it's all right, sweetheart. You can come out. It's safe. That's the good girl. Oh, good girl. Hello, darling. All righty, Welcome daddy. Home Welcome home to your new home. Hey, Jazzy, what Whoa, do you think? Jazzy's a little bit interested. It's all right, Willow. It's all right. Is that not Jazzy? Are you going to meet her? Say hi. Come a little bit closer so I can actually you show them. You want to take them? them? I will. Come show on them. in. Oh, Jasmine, this is beautiful. Your new friend. Hi, gorgeous girl. We haven't got a name, but I know you're excited too. Oh, you can't get up? Oh, yeah. She'll be able to get up. Willow. You're not used to that one. You're but you've actually, you it. were just in a cage next to cats and oh, really? guinea pigs and can we get one and of the rabbits. Cats? Can, can we get one of the cats? Yeah. Uh, think about that one. What do you All reckon, right. Josie? Do you want to get up on a perch, sweet girl? Oh, she's you've got a You've got a new friend. She, her wings now, are being we're clipped. going to de-stress the her situation. So... That's the reason the wings are clipped. So they obviously clip their wings there. Mm. So she's not going to be able to get up as easy as Jazzy. Oh, Willow, are you saying hello as well? Oh, darling, is that your new sister? Say hello. You're going to protect that block? Oh, good girl, you got up. Keep yeah. going. Yeah, her wings are clear. That's okay. So we've got things that we can help to assist with that. Obviously, we've got the put ladder. Her on the finger and we or can not? put. She's not yet. Sure. She's obviously able to be picked up to be boxed and transferred. Yeah, oh, darling, wings are your clipped. wings are clipped, aren't okay. you? All right, let's make some things a little bit easier for you. Oh, she got up on one. Good yeah. girl. Good well girl. done. So until her wings grow, because we won't be doing that. But Chazzy's very um, interested. So it's, it's actually right, Willow. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry, but your wings will grow back. Jazzy. I know Willow's going off, so Jazzy's listening to Willow. Hi, hey, sweetie. Willow, so excited. Now, we think it's a girl based on the coloration right. of the passage it's hard to tell when just the above the nose. Yeah. It's normally a tan or a slight brownish color if it's a boy, or it's more of a pinky or purple sort of color if it's a girl. So. 
we're thinking that it's most likely going yes, to be. William, I, guess. I know. How are you feeling? How are you coping with everything um, at the well, moment? Well, I'm being still sad. Um, I said a prayer with her and we sung hallelujah, or we put hallelujah on okay. the music thing. And she she's very affected, guys. They do get very affected. So she's been um, picking at herself too much. But she was playing and I was talking her through. So <laughs> she's been doing good. Um, and she seems very happy and not picking at herself, and she's happy to see this little one. Cool. Um, so it's very difficult to get a new one straight away when you're grieving for your other one, but it's a must if you've got a solo bird. They must be in a flock, basically. Yeah, they are very much companion animals, yeah. aren't they? They are used to being so together. Oh, good so yeah. Right. Good well girl. done. Oh, did you just say kiss hello? That's a good sign. It's all right, Chazzy. It's all right, Chazzy. It's William. <laughs> William. Come on, let them He's bond. a bit on the um, uh, jealous stage, is he? Hello, girl, baby girl. Hi. So what, what are you going to call her? Well, I hope it's a her. We hope it's a her. We think it um, might be. Yeah, we're going to have to think about that because I'm not going to rush. Okay. Um, of course, I'm going to try and stick to Disney, but but if I can't, I can't. But anyway, I'm going to think about it. Do you know what it reminds me it. of? Hedwig. And I'm, yeah, Hedwig. Harry, Harry Potter. But that one's a boy. The White Owl. It? But the, he's Hedwig? a boy. Hedwig is a boy. Yeah. But that's who it reminds me of too. Um, there could also Jenny. be Snow White from... Correct. From Disney. Correct. You have so, this Disney theme of your naming conventions, do. don't you? I do, lately. Mm -hmm. um, it has been a thing. Because obviously your fish is called Tinkerbell. Yeah. 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 So... Have a bit of a they're thing. They're both doing but, this. They're like... Yeah, what, we're talking about you guys. Hi, guys. What Together, is we're talking about both of you. So I'm not going to rush, but I'll go let you guys know very soon. Probably the next video. Now, if you've got ideas, comments... Leave them below. Hello, Love Daddy. to hear what you think. What do you think, Jazzy? You're all up on together. Does and that that's the make thing. you feel a bit better, sweetheart? You've got a friend, Look, a buddy. I know, you're blinking a lot and you're very sad. Yeah. I know. I know it's not crystal. And hard. look, we've just gone through the whole process of I've spent some time watching it's the behaviour good. of this new white budgerigar to see yeah. health and engagement with the other birds. She, and she she's very alert, friendly, friendly, very comfortable mm -hmm. with other birds, very, very engaging, I very interactive. Know, so it's exciting times for us at home. So look, we're going to obviously um, take some time to think about the naming conventions whilst we're also getting over the process. We've dealt with the first thing where we brought Jasmine, a buddy, a friend, a companion to stay together. They're already getting used to things, which is cool. Okay. You know what? And we'll have some time to stay together and watch them. You're excited? Mm. Yeah. It's it, it, it's it's really hard. It's bittersweet, isn't it? Because I am grieving at the same time, and I know Jazzy is too, but at the same time, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I'm going to love on this new one. But, yeah, it's... It's, it's important for Jazzy to have a companion, particularly when we're away, a hospital or clinics and other to. things. They have to have a friend. We want them to have um, a friend. It's just really, really hard doing it immediately, but it's for her best interest and she yeah. must Yeah, and that's first. why we've taken that action today. So, but, of course, I'm sad. Um, but I'm also happy to receive my new friend yeah. for me as well but it's important it has to happen now for jazzy yeah definitely well hey, give our new bird bud regard a friend a thumbs up comments suggestions each other, for so names below there's already tolerance so and it looks like they oh, could yeah. end up best friends i think they will be very yes. very shortly don't you worry they'll be chatting oh, hello that was a chirp from you we you... just got to give you a name we do yes we, we have do. to work that out don't we Make Hi, things Jazzy. easier. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching the channel. Don't forget yes, to subscribe, hit that notification bell, see it's what else okay. happens as we go along in the course of today. It's a weekend for us over here. Who knows what our day's going to be like? Every day is full of something at the moment. You it poor really girl. is. You have to see we'll see you up. in another episode real soon. Bye, Bye. for now.